Well hello everybody, so uh, welcome to another tutorial and uh, for this one I thought I did a little bit of a simple blueprint, uh, hopefully it will be helpful to some of you and uh, it was definitely helpful for me and you know kind of building my world for my project and that is a set of um, electrical poles so you know basically having multiple of these and being able to link uh, link them up with uh, with cables and uh, you know kind of like the, the electrical wires that just hang between the poles so um, yeah let's get to it well first of all um, I'm gonna be um, creating this uh, let's do a quick um, have this little uh, blueprint folder here and I'm gonna right click and do a new blueprint class of type actor and let's call this BP underscore uh, let's call it electrical pole alright so let's take a look at this first of all what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in my uh, my asset and uh, let's see where do I have that uh, there we go. Um, so, um, kind of, we have the main um, object here. Now, uh, in order for us to uh, to link between these, what I uh, what I have done for uh, for mine is uh, I've created uh, a variable, and uh, this is going to be called the next electrical pole. So that way I can. Uh, tell this one what to uh, to link to uh, with the cables so this one's going to be of type uh, electrical pole there we go and we need to make this editable so that way we can uh, we can choose it in the editor all right but now we need to to figure out the location so I want to link them between these kind of uh, electrodes I'm not sure if that's what they, they're called but um, yeah, so these would be the locations where the cables are going to go. So for that, I'm going to be adding uh, a few spheres. So let's do this. Going to be sphere one, and let's uh, kind of it's usually added at the bottom. So let's make this maybe a point two, so it's a little smaller, and let's place it onto these little uh, connectors here. There is one. Let's see. I think that looks all right. Then there's sphere number two. So let's move that to the one in the center. Try and place it in the somewhere in the middle there. And then let's duplicate it and we'll do a sphere three. And almost there. There we go. I think it's somewhat in place. Perfect. Okay. Now the fun part begins, we're going to add the cables. So let's look for another component called cable, which is extremely useful. So I'm going to attach it to the, to the root, and there's one of them. So first of all, let's actually position it. So whenever you drag out of this, you're going to place the, uh, the attachment start. So let's place this, uh, uh, actually kind of nailed it, so I think it's right in the, in the right spot. So I'm going to call this cable 1 just to keep them pretty much named the same. Duplicate this, it's going to be cable 2 and same thing. We'll try and place it here in the middle. Alright, and then duplicate this and we have cable 3. And that one's going to go to this one here. All right, I think that's pretty much in place. There we go. Uh, so in order for us to to do this, um, let's actually create the linkage between them. So uh, first of all, what I want to do and what I've done for my project is I've added a boolean called uh, reset wires. So that way, if you have your uh, um, uh, your your electrical poles in place and you've kind of rotated the target, so kind of the next electrical pole, you can click on the original and just hit reset wires so that that way they get attached. Uh, if there's a better way to do this, uh, please let me know. This was the, 
the simplest way that I could think of, especially for a tutorial, to do it. So uh, let's drag this in real quick and uh, let's run a branch off of this. So whenever you click on it, either set it to true or false, it's going to uh, run the next section. All right, so let's make sure that our uh, electrical pole is valid. So look for is valid. So it, it, be it true or false, we're going to run through this node. All right, so if it's valid, and then we want to set our cables. And in order to do that, what I'm going to do, let's start with cable one, and we'll test this one first. And um, so for this one, I'm going to be setting uh, end location. So where's the end location going to be? Well, it's going to be at our next electrical pole and our sphere 1 because, you know, we're looking at cable 1. So how are we going to get that? Well, first of all, let's use our next electrical pole and let's look for sphere 1. So we're going to do a get world location. There we go. Now this is um, uh, this is something that's interesting. What we're going to need to do is we're going to need to use an inverse transform location. So uh, let's add this in to this is going to go into location and and the reason we want to do that is um, um, because our, our cable one uh, our end location is going to be set in local space so um, that's what we need to get um, the inverse transform location meaning that uh, transforming the position from world space to local space so we're getting the world location of the next electrical pole, pole sphere 1 but we need to transform that into a local location for our current electrical pole so hopefully that makes sense uh, so let's do a get actor transform and plug that in here and then this one would go here so let's give this a quick test just to see how this works so we have um, our electrical pole and let's see, uh, did we, so those are, oh actually, <laughs> so this is just the mesh, my apologies. Let's bring in our um, our blueprint that we've created. There we go. Okay, so this is number one. So I'm gonna duplicate this, just hold down Alt and, and just move it around. And, um, Let's select these ones. There we go. So now um, we have our first cable linked to our second. So uh, the reason I'm using this reset wires is like because if you move this around, so what I want to do is I want to be able to, to click this and just reset the positioning. You can also do that by just moving the pole around, but maybe if you have it already in place, so for example, if I just choose to do to just move it. You know this gets updated because you know the construction script runs, so um, it's uh, it gets linked again. Okay, so let's do the other two as well, just to, to get our basic functionality in place. So I'm going to duplicate uh, um, basically just these three nodes because the other ones are going to be kind of uh, differently named. Or actually, maybe let's let's try doing it like this. Uh, Control W. See how we can position this so it's nicely formatted. Hopefully. All right, so we're gonna add. This is gonna be cable two, and then uh, this one's gonna be sphere two. Sphere two. All right, let's link these just like before, and we'll do the same. And now we have cable three. And then this one's going to be sphere two again. So, oh, sphere three. Sphere three, there we go. 
Okay, let's compile this real quick and uh, see what we get. And there we go. We have them, you know, nicely linked together. So if we were to, uh, you know, move this around. Now, if you were to move this one, then uh, they're going to up get updated uh, nicely. You know, no, no issues there. You know, you can rotate them around. But if you if you do move the target, then you need to uh, uh, reset the wires on the first one. So uh, there you go. Now let's do a little bit some um, add some niceties to this. So basically, um, add some um, um, some hang to the cable, so you know it kind of uh, sits a little lower, uh, and uh, you know play around with that to give a little bit of variety across these uh, these items. So uh, what I've done is uh, I've actually used another boolean, and I've called this is random hang. So uh, if you want to have uh, um, just uh, in by default, I'm just going to set it to uh, to true. So if you want to have uh, a specific hang to one of your cables, then uh, you you might want to just um, um, uncheck this. So let's uh, let's move on, and uh, we're going to add a branch. And if it is indeed random hang. Just uh, kind of clean these up a little bit here. So if we want to have a random hang, what do we do then? Well, um, so let's bring in our uh, cables. So cable one through three. All right. So let's start with cable one. Uh, so the um, the way to do this is the, these cables have a property called uh, cable gra uh, gravity gravity scale. So we're gonna set that, and what we're gonna set it to is uh, I'm gonna do a uh, uh, make a random, and uh, it's actually I don't think it's a make. It's uh, just a random float in range. So. Uh, uh, what I've uh, found out works uh, pretty well is uh, a 1 to 10. So let's add that in here. And we'll do the same for um, for cable 2. And the same for cable 3. And I'm just going to use different randoms so that way you know it's going to be different but with the same range 1 to 10. All right. So if it's random hang, then use these. All right. Let's just uh, adjust these a little bit better here. Okay. But what if um, if you wanna if you want to, to set these values? So this is going to be identical. So let's duplicate these. But now we're going to provide some uh, some variables. So I'm going to be adding a couple of I mean three more variables here. So it's going to be. Uh, Cable one hang. So this is going to have to be a float. And let's duplicate these. So this is going to be cable two hang. And duplicate again. And cable three. All right. So let's make these editable. So we're going to have that cable one, cable two, and cable three. All right, let's see how this looks. So already we can tell that there's you know some kind of random or like some kind of random hang here. Now maybe I want to do I don't want to do a random hang. I just want to make this. Let's see, maybe that, then cable two, something that hangs really. Quite a bit lower, or maybe even more. There we go. And then cable three. Uh, let's make it somewhere above. Uh, that's maybe too much. There we go. So now you can uh, you can add another one just by duplicating this. And let's select it. And there you go. So again, this is just random. Now. Um, 
what do we do about these that are just hanging down here because this one doesn't have anything for the next electrical pole and maybe that's where you want to end, end things so remember we were looking to see if it's valid well if it isn't valid then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be bringing in our cable one two and three so let's start with cable one and we're gonna set a couple of variables for this so we're gonna set attach end so set attach end and I haven't tried to see if we can I guess we can connect multiple of these in, in here so um, I guess we're gonna have to do it one by one just gonna drag this a little bit lower down here so cable one and attach end and uh, also attach start we want to kind of um, not have it there uh, let's do attach start Actually, just we need to set it. I haven't actually looked to see if uh, we can actually potentially also destroy the component. Um, let's see what would happen if we do that. I think that might uh, end up having the same result. Let's do a quick test. So yeah, there we go. And uh, now if we were to duplicate this, and uh, this one will actually have a next electrical pole. There we go. I think that might work just a little bit better to destroy the components. So um, we can do that and I think this one might take all three. There we go. Perfect. Um, so um, one of the things that I wanted to try is uh, let's see that uh, this one um, instead of destroying component let's see what happens if uh, we actually uh, set the, for the cable one attach end to be this. So instead of removing it, let's just do set attach end to false. So um, there we go. What you have is a little bit of a of a hanging cable, and. Um, I haven't tried this actually, so but I am assuming this um, will react to um, to vent hits. So if it gets hit by a bullet or something, it might just start flopping around. But uh, but this is another option that you can uh, you can consider if you'd like. Where um, if you set the attach end to false, it's just gonna uh, kind of hang there like that. So um, there we go. This is um, kind of the simplest way. And uh, that that I could think of uh, of doing these um, um, these kind of cable system type setup. I'm sure that there, there's definitely better ways to do it out there. But again, this is just a very basic uh, functionality, and it's mostly uh, trying to show a little bit of the functionality that the cable component has, which I found it pretty useful. All right, everybody. So hopefully that was helpful. Do let me know and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Take care everybody.